Welcome back to Harvest Moon 64, everybody. Praise be to God on this incredible day. So, we're finishing Autumn today. This episode, don't care how long it takes, we are finishing it. We've got eight days left. I know we can do it. Smooch, good morning. Also, I apologize if my voice sounds a little weirder than usual or if I cough during this episode. I'm still recovering from a cold. My throat's no longer sore, so I'm able to record. But I'm still coughing a lot. So hopefully that won't be a distraction. Alright. I am out of cabbage in the refrigerator, so I gotta collect some of that for Maria. Alright, so my daily routine is basically going to consist of giving free stuff to some of the villagers. Fast, cheap, sturdy for a home extension called the Mountain Carpenters. But you've already made my house as cool as it possibly can be. Yeah, basically gonna give gifts to all the main, uh, bachelors of the game, except Harris, so that way their wives will have their kids as quickly as possible, and then basically fishing besides that, and, you know, occasionally giving gifts to the other townspeople. Like, I give stuff to the midwife sometimes, sometimes to the mayor, that kind of thing. Have an egg. Thanks. When your baby grows up, I'll play with it. Cool, thanks for waiting. Because he's a little too young to play right now. Ken's growing up into a responsible man. Oop, using poisonous mushrooms the right way can make good medicine. Life's that way. Things and people cannot be judged from just one side. What wise words from the potion shop dealer. Let's give him a hand. Hello, Artie. How's parenthood? Babies are sweet, eh? <laughs> I was watching Steven play's uh, Extra Life of this the other day, and the voice- he gave the mayor, like, the opposite voice that I gave him, where he's like, the mayor's like, Oh, hey, I'm the mayor, but you got a lot of questions. It, it was funny. Look that up if you want. It was very amusing. <laughs> then again, I just really like Steven play's channel. Steven George is a great guy. Okay. So I think quitting the game and actually loading the game normally for the main menu rather than save states seems to have fi fixed the fishing bug where I, I couldn't catch veins even though I should have. Ah, that's great. I'm stockpiling a ton of eggs in my refrigerator just because at winter time you can't really get edible veins all that easily, especially if your wife crates up the eggs all the time. I'm really pumped for the horse race though. I can't remember if that's the last day of fall or, like, one of the last days of fall. Either way, my horse, like, there's no way he's not good enough. But the best part is, even if he's not good enough by some regard, I still have another horse race. Keep in mind, I'm picking up my baby, examining him, and showing him to Maria every day just to boost his affection level up. Likewise, I'm making sure Maria's affection level always stays at the top by giving her a cabbage every day. Plus, she's just awesome. And again, I'm coming in here, whistling for my dog, picking him up, and putting him down, and putting something in his food every day, so that way he gets the maximum amount of affection per day. If I give him the maximum amount of affection per day, then he should be ready for the dog race in the winter. And if he's not, well, guess what? I have a little thing called save states. Remember when we used to have to go out and cut up lumber with our axe? Neither do I. Oh, cool. Both the kids are in here. Thanks. The minister told us good things and bad things come to us in order. I hope many good things come my way. I hope so too, Kent. You're a good kid. Wow, is this for me? Thanks. Karen is a good dancer. I've seen her dancing at the beach. Oh, nice. Honestly, everybody in this game is, like, pretty swell person. The kids especially, though. Like, Kent is already, like, I know what I want to do for in the future, and, like, I'm already working on stuff to get, it, like, done. It's amazing. I don't think I need to give any more wild grapes to Gots anymore. It's pretty out of the way for a guy who, honestly, doesn't have a whole lot of bearance on the final evaluation. Where, where did Kai go? Oh yeah, it's Sunday. They're at the beach. Well shoot, I guess I'll be fishing at the beach today, hanging out with Karen and Kai. 
Hot Dane. What a Dane is and why it's hot, I don't know. Put your Great Danes inside so they don't overheat. Oh, they're even holding hands. That's cute. Oh, thank you very much. I like the ocean. The sound of the waves is relaxing. Oh, and Karen's still nervous. I don't know, that's a romantic picture right there. Don't mind me, I'm just furred wheeling. This is nice. I've got like all the recipes, I've got all the power nuts. I have pretty much everything I need for the end of the game. I just kind of need to ride it out. I was annoyed with it, but I figure it's better to look at the bright side of things. I'm trying to be more optimistic and less like, oh, this is terrible. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. I want to be a Ulysses Upper. Old Ulysses who, like, brings everyone's spirits up by just being like, yeah, like having a good attitude all the time. Sorry, those of you who like to see me rage. I don't want that to happen in the future. Because I need actual commentary to fill out this video, I will ask everybody, what is your favorite smell in the world? There are quite a few for me, but right off the top of my head, three that are just amazing for me to smell. Fresh baked apple pie. Um, burgundy roast that is being slow cooked in a burgundy wine reduction. And I will say my final one is the smell of gasoline. I know that's not a good smell to enjoy, but the smell of gasoline to me is just amazing. I don't go around, like, purposefully sniffing the inside of gas cans or anything. But when I mow the lawn, I like the smell of our shed because it smells like gasoline. Because that's what we use to fill up the mower with. Dog, I know you're not getting any exercise or fresh air, but that doesn't matter. What does matter is that you love me. I like books, but I prefer to read recipes. I read and imagine how things would taste. Ellie, you and I truly are kindred spirits. Like, reading recipe books and watching, like, Food Network shows, for me, I'm like, that is amazing. My favorite of... it's not on Food Network, but my favorite, like, of the food shows is the Great British Bake Off. If you haven't seen it, it's very good. It's basically like a competitive cooking show, but everyone is super nice to each other, and it's all baked goods. And everyone's British! What's not to love? I've decided I'm going to the bar- oh wait, it's Sunday. Or no, it's not, it's Monday. What am I saying? I'm gonna go to the bar tonight, and give a potato to everybody there. And... just Harris. Alright, well, he gets a potato, I guess. Well, Regis, it's an empty crowd tonight, huh? Oh, what, for me? Thanks! You noticed? Oh, that's something. Wait. I noticed what? Alright, Valor's Voter Egg Festival. Local horse race 28th. Okay, well, not the last day of fall. Then you, I will buy milk. <laughs> well, aren't you the healthy one? This probably came from my cows this morning. Well, guess what, honey? We got a lot of potatoes. Oh, really? It's not bedtime yet? I love how... <laughs> this is, like, my life now. Basically, like, in real life, where I'm always like, oh, I'm kind of tired. I want to go to bed. People are like, it's 10 o'clock. Not actually, but I make sure I am home by 10, 30, or 11. And I go to bed shortly after that. Smooch. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show my baby to everybody today. I can take care of my animals later on. Oh yeah? Come on, you gotta get used to babies. You're gonna have one eventually. Hey Anne, check it out. Oh, so cute! Hey Cliff, uh, you're crazy over that kid. You brought him all the way here? Yes, I did, and yes, I am. Alright, where is Poppery going to show up? That's what I want to know. Ho oh, ho, oh, isn't it cute? That's the thing you say for, like, any wild animal. My kid is a wild animal, apparently. Poppery, I don't think, spawns until 9am, whereas everybody else spawns at 8am on this farm, so that might be part of it. Well, it's 9am now. Nope, she's not there. 
There she is. Sweet! Takes after Maria. Aww. She actually commented. She gave a personal comment regarding that. That's very sweet. Now let's take him to town. This is Flower Bud Village, kiddo. Those are dogs. This is the potion shop dealer. You're a father. That makes me older, too. It's not all about you. It's about the baby. Hey, Harris. Oh, how cute! Takes after the mother. Or maybe you, Artie? I mean, that doesn't look like me in real life, but whatever. Children are good. They ease your spirits and give you reason to live. That sounds so depressing! <laughs> Hi, little Maya! Peekaboo! Oh, yep. That's your grandpa. And here's your grandma. How cute! Looks like Maria when she was little. Aww. I like these personal comments relating her to Maria. Because you wouldn't get that with the other kids. Rick, even Rick is open today. Hey, Rick. Children? They're cute, but I'm not sure about raising my own. Look, Rick buddy, real life me and you are kind of exactly on the same book. I'm still on the fence about the whole kid thing. Which is good, because I'm not even in a relationship, so it's way too early to think about it anyways. Take good care of it. It's a very important treasure. Don't ever exchange it for anything. Yeah, I wasn't going to. Weirdo. Gimli, I, I was not going to treat... I was about to make... You know what, never even... Never mind. Oh, how sweet. I was about to spoil a rather um, popular movie that just recently came out. Cute, like an angel. Aww. Oh, I should have shown it. Showing it to Regis is going to be hard. I have to just hold on to it all day. Ooh, cute, like a doll. Can I touch it? I washed my hands good. <laughs> um, no. Gosh, cheapskate! No, just kidding, you can touch it. It's so soft. Wow, awesome! Hey, Pastor. Is it the greatest? <laughs> it is the greatest of treasures. Let's pray for the child. Aw, these are sweet. I guess I can't show it to Basil, but... What else is new? Does it cry at night? It's tough, but hang in there. Oh, thank you for the advice. But you didn't comment on how adorable he is. Hey, Gats. Babies are easy to handle. Okay. So cute! Oh, Karen's not around. Oh, how sweet! Hey, fisherman. A baby! That's nice! Yes, it is nice. Oh, you're a feisty one. What?! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> this is a family-friendly channel. <laughs> Wow, so cute! Cheeks look so soft! Well, baby's cheeks are certainly soft. Everything about them is pretty darn soft. Oh, you're a feisty one! Why are you saying that, too? Aw, oh, I can't talk to the head carpenter today. Goddess, look, it's my baby. Oh, whoa, oh, isn't it cute? Hey, Zack is here! I still can't tell who it takes after. Well, he, he's also less than a month old, so... <laughs> he's cute, but you'll have trouble with him soon. Anyway, he's a treasure. Take good care of him. Thank you, Regis. I will. Hi, Maria. Guess what? I've had the baby for the whole day. And I still haven't taken care of any of my animals. <laughs> Honey, don't drop him. I didn't! I carried him the whole day. My arms are killing me. But there we go. Now the question is, is he going to warp into her arms? He is! Smooch. Ooh, so I now have high quality wool, which looks exactly like regular wool. The only way you can tell the difference is by what its Z action says. Hey! So before I talk to him, I'm gonna whistle for my horse, brush him, and ride him, just to get the affection boost for today as well. Hey, why don't you enter the local horse race tomorrow? I think you do pretty good. I'll enter. Good! I'll finally help to get the horse ready in the morning. 
Well, goodbye. See you later. Oh, never mind. I could have taken care of my horse tomorrow, uh, after talking to him anyways. But that's okay. He's so excited. He's like, you're finally having confidence in yourself. I'm like, well, yeah, because now I know I can actually win. As opposed to, like, last year where it's like, you're definitely gonna lose, but you should do it anyways. It's like, no. I'm not gonna, like, do it just so I'll lose. I'd rather do it, and I'd rather not do it, and so I can bet on more races. <laughs> Babies are so small, I wonder if I was like that. I was just skimming all these kids' dialogues. I wasn't even expecting anything new. But we got new stuff. Thanks. After I can read, I'll learn about all sorts of mysterious things. I'm wondering if there's one Kent dial, uh, Kent scene that I can't get anymore because I'm married. Because if you're really good friends with him, there's, like, one night he'll, like, run into your house and be like, I ran away from home, can I stay the night here? You getting ready for the horse race, buddy? Yeah, you are. You're gonna dominate the horse race. Because I've got time powers, and I, so I can use them to ensure your victory. To be honest, I have never won the horse race before. I've never even come close to winning the horse race. So that's going to be interesting for me to do as well. Alright, so my horse is gone. Doug took him in the middle of the night. Weird enough, I know. But it still technically was his horse to begin with, so... You know. He's just there to help out. He's taking it to the horse race me. I race, I think, in the second race? Maybe the third race? Not the first one, I know that. But the first race happens very quickly, so I'm going to quickly take care of my animals. You know, the usual. I can still bet money. Oh, these are great odds. Because I still need to buy the awesome stable for my horse. And this is where I really wish that this emulator had a speed up button. It doesn't. I could just actually bet my money this time. But that's boring. I like having this much cash. The nice thing about the Game Boy Advance version of Harvest Moon uh, is that you can race your own horse, it's much easier to win, and you can bet on yourself. So it's like, why would you not race? <laughs> and if you win, you get a ton of medals. I don't know. The GBA version is definitely a better game. And it's not like the same game. They change a lot, and add a lot of stuff. And it's portable. But it's also like, yeah, you will never get 100% of that. Like, you won't. One of the requirements to get 100% is you have to stay married for 50 in-game years. One of them is like, collect 500 trillion gold or something. It's just like, it's ridiculous. I'm not betting. This is always so exciting, and I'm racing this year, honey. Oh my gosh. This girl is basically, like, Miss Frizzle's weird teenage daughter. If Miss Frizzle had a weird teenage daughter. Ugh, hey, this is my side job. I'd like to buy something. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay, I bought fry. I I think I bought corn. I'll get candy. Yes, thank you. Don't eat too much. Oh, it's cotton candy. Do, 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 do. First race is about to start. All participants should come to the gate. On your mark, get set. Okay. So Cliff Guard is blue, I want the white horse to win. One at the top. Yeah, the guy the blue guy on the horse with like the red stuff. That is the green ranch horse. I think green came second. If green came first, I'll be a little bit upset. Okay, good. Star C one. Oh, that's not not much better, but it's a start. Alright, I think this is the race that I am actually racing in. We'll know soon enough. No, never mind. I get the last race. <laughs> no pressure or anything. That's kind of nice. They give you plenty of time to get your chores done before coming here. Oh, I hope Tingen wins. What's up with the green player always having, like, the lowest odds? Or the lowest, uh, <laughs> amount of payoff? 
highest odds. Lowest incentive to bend. Hey, Cliff. Hey, Artie. I was asked to come here, so I am. Ticket? No, I won't be here long. I just came to watch Cliff race. Uh, what about me? Oh, hi, Artie. I don't know much about the horses. Uh, yeah, sure. Now he says the same old stuff. I am no good at sports. I envy you our ability to ride and race. Oh, yeah. I'll appease him. I'll get iced tea. Thank you very much. You won't be sorry. How is that iced tea? It's like wine. I just thought that if there was something I could help with. You like the horse races. Anne's brother Gray used to ride that horse, but he got hurt in an accident and can't ride anymore. He used to laugh more. Oh, no, that's so sad. If you race, I'll root for you. Next race, kid. That was great, wasn't it? Yes, that was a good race. Hard to predict. Hee <laughs> hee, did you place a bet? I always bet on the long shot. I always bet the maximum amount on everyone. It should be starting soon. Oh, so exciting. Good luck. Thank you. I like this atmosphere. Everybody's cheerful and lively. Hello. What? I look dispirited? No, I'm okay. I'm always ready to go for it. Huh. The second race is about to start. Excellent. All participants should come to the gate. On your marks. Get set. Get the heads. Oh, wait. That horse must be the same no matter... Oh. That horse is the same no matter what, so maybe it's not the Green Ranch horse. It was named Guard, which is short for Cliff Guard, though, so... They're at the finish line, folks. I didn't even pay attention to who what got what place. The winners are first place Moz. Doggone it, Moz! Looks like I won't be getting the stable this visit. Unless I can bet on the third race. Participants are not allowed to buy tickets. Well, fine. C -c calm down T -t take a deep breath S -s slowly no that won't do anyway good luck okay <laughs> Anne is freaking out good luck why does he have to stand in the exact dead center if he was one pixel to either side I could get past him the third race is about to start all participants should come to the gate making a safe state there I will probably need it Press the A button to run fast, but be careful because your stamina declines fast, too. Hey, check it out! That's me up there! On your mark, get set, come on! Yeah! Nice! They're at the finish line! I was afraid I wasn't going to get that. And the winners are, first place, Tobias, second place, Pickles. I forgot my horse's name. <laughs> nice! I've never seen this before. He did it! Good! Let's celebrate! Open the wine! Wait, whoa, okay. Easy there, easy there. Oh, oh, it's Mr. Creepy Cameraman. Congratulations! Wonderful, Artie! Let's take a picture of this fine moment. Now, if your horse say cheese... Does he have to be in the photo too? I'll send it to you later. I've, just got, I've got so many bones to pick with that cameraman, but you know, whatever. Oh, hey, Anne! Artie, you're great! I... I... I'm so happy. I don't know what to say. Congratulations, and, and thank you. And, well, um, you were cool. Oh yes, I must congratulate Tobias too. <laughs> I feel like that's more supposed to be a like romantic scene if you're not married to Anne. Well, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> I had decent odds on me. That's the end of the races for today. Please exchange your medals for gifts. That was cool getting to see a scene I hadn't uh, seen before. You did it! As I expected, you're the man! Aw, that's very nice. You did it! Wow, that's like the most excited I've ever seen him. Good job. It's exciting if you bet, whether you win or lose. Oh, that was a pretty good race. Yes, they were all so spunky. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Never, never again. Oh. 
Oh no, I thought we were done with his terrifying face. Congratulations, brother! I didn't see what Kent said. Great! You're awesome! Cool. Congratulations! I should have bet on you. But, well, that's another story. I get it. You're broke. It's cool. Great! You're something else. Artie. Okay, why did you have to take the break there? Great show, Artie! Congratulations! Congratulations! It was great! Great job, Artie! It was a splendid race. Thank you. I knew you could do it. He even stayed to watch me. Let's get away from that creepy as I'll get out potion shop dealer. Hello, please buy tickets from across the counter. You wouldn't let me! Good job, dear. Smooch, smooch, smooch. Hi, welcome. Please take it easy. But, the, the, but I didn't talk to everybody. That wraps up the day's events. We'll hold races again in the spring. I never realized you could stick around long enough that that would happen. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I'm learning so much stuff this episode. This is great. And Dane, Doug gets like really excited. That okay? I swear that potion shop dealer's face—it is so creepy. Like I'm legit scared of that face. Like, ugh. that is gonna haunt my nightmares tonight. <laughs> Don't drink, kids. Do not drink. <laughs> your face will turn into his face. Not really. Not really. I have no problem with drinking. I just... I don't myself because I don't like the taste. And, you know, it's expensive. So, if you don't, like, order alcohol at a restaurant, you can buy dessert. Or two desserts. <laughs> Alright. This was a good day. This was a lovely day. You don't get a trophy or anything like that, but we will get a photo in the mail later today. Alright, two days of autumn left. I created up the eggs. Sweetie, we won the race, though! Why is it every time I put my kid down, he starts crying? Is it because he doesn't like it when I pick him up? Or is it because he really likes it when I pick him up and he wants me to pick him up more? Look at all damn eggs. Look at all damn eggs. Well, I don't really have to take care of my horse all that much, but it's really easy to, so... Hey, my horse is exactly where I left him before Doug took him. That that's great. You did well, Tobias. We'll send you a souvenir picture and look forward to your actions in the future. Yeah, you will. So we have two photos left. Final photo and dog race photo. Let's check out the photo, of course. Photo commemorating victory at the local horse race. Um, okay. That is me, my horse, and Doug, who has drunk a little too much beer. But that's a good photo anyways. Still think it's weird that I have the photo of the three teenage girls. But doggone it, that one melts my heart every time. As does that one. And that one. That one's pretty cute, too. So that was the horse race. Basically... You've got a certain amount of stamina. The higher your horse's affection is, the more stamina you have. And you basically just have to space it out when to use your stamina. I chose to save pretty much all of it for the very end. And I don't think you restore stamina as the race goes on. So, like, if you're, like, charge at the very beginning and lower his stamina, I don't think he ever gets that back in the race. So... It's not like if he gets more fuel as you slow down. Alright, I need to befriend more people. We've got a fridge full of eggs. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but that is the voice that I... Man, why do people watch my videos again? When I started YouTube, I was determined I wouldn't fall into and become like a character like all the other big YouTubers. I didn't want to do that, and I found out it's happened anyways. Ah, <sighs> brother. I'm gonna have to go back to just talking exclusively about the game that I am playing at the time. Oh, thank you, Steve. Oh, wow, to tell you the truth, I didn't expect you to win the cow festival and the horse race. I'm winning the dog race, too. 
These little dogs are stupid. Ugh. I just told him I'm pregnant, so we won't let me do any. Okay, you just now told him, uh, Gray, that you're pregnant? Like, after weeks? Okay, Poppery, that's, that's weird. That is weird. Hey, Gray. Sorry. Hurry up and get back to work. <laughs> Come on, I thought he would have lightened up after winning the horse race. I hoped he would. Hi, Anne. Hi, Cloud. Cloud? That is not Cloud, that's Cliff. <laughs> this is not Kingdom Hearts, Artie. Here, Jeff. Oh, thank you. I didn't know what to do. I was just a bundle of nerves, but Ellie was calm. She was great. Wait, wait. You guys haven't had the baby yet, though. <laughs> that sounds like something you would say at the end of, like, after you've had the baby. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm looking into it a little too much, but, you know, what? The dialogue in this is weird. I'll just, I'll just say it. It's a little weird. <laughs> To the audience, it looks like I'm fishing. But what I'm actually doing is having my in-game character fish while I'm thinking about all the different plot holes in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. I just now thought of a new one. But I won't say it out loud because I don't know how far people played into the series. But it has to do with inconsistent memory loss. <laughs> hey! Oh, is he going to party hardy with Artie? Can't be tardy to that. Hey, congratulations on your victory! I've come to celebrate! Let's have a drink! D dude didn't you do enough of that at the horse race? Fine, oh, okay. <laughs> Good, that's how a man should act. Afterward, everyone will come. And the party continued until midnight. My wife's like, again? Seriously? <laughs> Okay, tomorrow it will be winter at freaking last. <laughs> I really should just binge record the rest of this series and push it all out at once. Because I really want to start recording my next Let's Plays, but I can't because this is the game I'm closest to finishing out of the ones I'm currently Let's Playing. And it still takes forever to produce one episode. So much for the positive attitude I said I wanted to have in the, earlier on in the episode. Well, I'll take that frown, turn it upside down. The library will be closed from the 1st to the 10th next month, so the mayor's wife has a chance to actually catch the sermon for once. I just realized, I don't think I actually have given Karen any gifts that she actually really likes. Because I just showed her my dog like a thousand times. To get up her affection to Pink Heart. Oh sweet, I just realized. I have... 300,000 gold. Which I think a good adjective to describe that amount would be ludicrous. How could I possibly have gotten. F Holy cow! I've gotten over, well over, 300,000 gold in less than two years farming. Man, what am I doing with my computer science like major? <laughs> a mathematics minor. I, I should just go into agriculture. <laughs> she told me that yesterday. She's a bit of a ditz. Oh, no, I'm eager again. Okay. All right, fine. You know what? I know I can't possibly use that, but I just want this for the completion value. Yes. Again, I can't possibly use that because I don't have room from in my barn for a new calf. But hey, it's in my toolbox, so that's something. Hey, Gray. Sorry. Hurry up and get back. This is the most he opens up. That is sad. I wanted him to actually legitimately open up, but he hasn't. Fall has come. Um, we're at the last day of fall, and so yeah. Where the heck is Cliff? Oh, hang on. It's Sunday. I remember from yesterday it's Sunday, so Karen and Kai are at the beach. Maybe Cliff set to beach as well. Maybe Cliff went a wandering on his wandering day. You know, like Albert does in a bar. Uh, best friends for Francis. 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I am very sad that you never knew the Francis books. They are classic children's stories about a, a badger named Francis, and she has probably some of the most quotable lines from anything. You know what? Here, for the rest of the episode, I'll give you the synopsis of Best Friends for Francis. So Francis, uh, she has a little sister named Gloria. Gloria's like, hey, can you play with me today? She's like, nah, I'm gonna play baseball with my friend Albert. <laughs> like, see ya. So then she goes to her friend Albert's house, and Albert's coming out with, like, this massive paper bag, just, like, stuffed with food, where she's like, wow, that's, like, a ton of food. Like, what is in there? He's like, oh, it's nothing much. You know, like, four or five sandwiches, like, three apples, like, a whole bunch of bananas, like, a, like a quart of milk, two packages of cupcakes, like, all this stuff. She... Like, he's like, because it's for my wandering day. She's like, oh, can I come along? He's like, I only have one lunch. <laughs> he's a chubby guy. So, like, he, he, like, she's like, wow, really? Like, okay, fine. So then she goes there the next day. And then he and his, his friend, Harold, are playing a game of no girls baseball. Apparently with just the two of them. Don't know how that works. But they're basically being sexist. So Francis is like, okay, this is getting ridiculous. She goes home and basically like, she's like, okay, Gloria, yeah, I'll play with you. And then she's like, she basically is like, you know, we gotta teach Albert a lesson. So she basically is like, mom, like we're going on an outing tomorrow. Like we need a ton of food. So they basically pack like a wagon filled with so much food. And then they're like, oh, before we actually go on the outing, let's stop by Albert's house. <laughs> So they basically are like, stop by Albert's house and are like, oh yeah, look at all this food we have. Albert's like, oh, you have like so much food. Like, like they're like, what do you have? They're like, oh, you know, nothing much. Like, they have like way more food than even Albert had like the other day. And like, they're like, yeah, it's just for outing. He's like, oh, could I come along on the eating? It's like, you mean outing? It's like, oh, outing, I mean, yeah. It's go, I mean, that like, uh, the hamper looks pretty full. You might need like a strong guy to pull it. They're like, yeah, okay. So then they basically best Albert and, like, convince him to hang out with them and, like, be friends. And then at the end, uh, Albert's kind of warmed up and he even gets Harold to join in. So then they're all friends. It's a good book. It has a lot of great lines in it. I didn't do the story justice. Anyways, look up the Francis the Book series. It's an old book series, but it is so good. The best one is Egg Fots and Other Francis Songs. It's basically a book of poetry for kids. Best poetry I've ever read. Those poems really stick with you. And that is all the time we have for this episode of Harvest Moon 64. Wow, that was a lot of fun. I feel like that was probably the best episode of Harvest Moon 64 I've recorded in a long time. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will finally start Second Winter. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.